This is an iPhone 10. This is a fake GoPro from Amazon. And today's video is going to be how I built a 1,000 subscriber YouTube channel with just a iPhone 10 and a fake GoPro. What's up guys, welcome back to RT2, hope everyone's having a great day today. So like I said in the beginning on my DB Power action camera, uh, this is going to be a video on how I built a 1,000 subscriber YouTube channel with just an iPhone 10 and, uh, well, this GoPro, uh, or faux pro as I call it. So for those who don't know, my main channel, Gross Tires, is at 1,030 subscribers at the time I'm recording this. Um, it has been my bread and butter since 2014. Um, I've uploaded there three days a week for ever since the channel was first was first born. Um, sometimes even more than that. I used to daily upload back in the day. So um, the channel has been around for going on what is about to be six years, and uh, this is going to be you know it's been a, it's been an endeavor. You know, lots of channels are you know ten times as big as my channel is at this point in their careers. Obviously, a lot of that is to do with the quality, which I've gotten much better over the years, as you guys can tell, uh, if you guys have watched that channel. Um, and even on this channel, there's been a lot of a quality increase here as of late. But um, anyway, today's video is going to be just about how I built the channel around these two devices. Now, um, the iPhone 10 has not been around the entire time the channel has, obviously. People who know the iPhones know that the iPhone 10 was not around in 2014. Um, I started the channel on an iPhone 5C, out of all things. Um, my very first uh, videos on the Roast Tires channel, back when it was still called J. Adamson 1, uh, which was the actually the original name for this channel as well. Um, it was um, all filmed on an iPhone 5C. I recorded Pokemon gameplays with an iPhone 5C holding my phone above my DS. It was probably the worst way possible to record videos, but it's all I had at the time. I didn't have a capture card. I didn't have the money to buy a capture card. I was... You know, a sophomore in high school, uh, so I didn't really have a lot of equipment at my disposal to make uh, quality YouTube videos. So uh, I did the best I could at the time. And it didn't really stick too well until I started doing other games like The Crew and uh, Mortal Kombat and, you know, stuff like that. That was kind of where the whole thing of Gems on One came from. And then eventually I jumped into the PC realm. Um, I, met, I You know, I had my friend Michael that I'd known since the eighth grade. Um, we both found out we both had YouTube channels and we were like, let's play some games together and record for both channels. And then we started doing Gary's Mod Let's Plays and stuff like that. Uh, I wound up changing the channel name at one point to Gearhead Gamer, which was originally going to be the name that stuck because at the time I had planned on doing car content as well as gaming content. I had started doing car content just a few months prior and I loved it. I really loved doing car vlogs. And uh, the channel pretty much became divided between the two. Uh, and very quickly I learned that it's obvious that car stuff was my, was my, was my niche uh, on, on YouTube. It was my thing. So I stopped uploading gaming content altogether. Um, not too long down the road from there, but the name did change to Roast Tires about three weeks later. That was where the Roast Tires name started. And ever since then, it's been the name that stuck. Um, most people know me as Roast Tires now. Um, this channel was originally called the Jams and One channel as well. I had originally started this channel as a fallback uh, back in 2017, I believe, or 2016, 2017, something like that, as as a placeholder for the Jams and One name, uh, as well as a uh, chance to go back to my roots, to upload Pokemon content again, to upload gaming videos again, like I had you know years prior to the Rose Tires channel, but without it being on the Rose Tires channel. And even today, that's how this channel is. It's more of just me having fun, messing with tech, messing with games. Uh, it's what I do best uh, outside of cars, obviously. Um, it's what I love to do. Uh, it's a pastime. You know, my, my hobbies have always been like cars is up here, like way up here, and then tech and computers and games and all that is like right underneath it. It's really my two biggest hobbies. And then music right underneath that. I'm a guitarist as well. A lot of people may not have known that. I actually own several guitars. Um, more like three, but you get the idea. But the channel um, was on the 5C for quite a while from the early days, I would say about 2014, 2015. I got an iPhone 6S at some point during there. I don't really remember when I got it, uh, which was my replacement for the 5C after I uh, unfortunately shattered it uh, on the phone with my girlfriend one night. Uh, my girlfriend at the time, I should say. Uh, one night I was uh, on the phone with her and it was plugged in. It got really hot and uh, the call kept dropping. And I got irritated and set it down on my desk. Like my mom, everyone says, I slammed it, but I literally just. And the screen was so hot. And five C's are notoriously crap. It shattered the screen to bits. Uh, so about a few months later, I got the 6S Plus uh, when those were first coming out. 
Uh, and I loved that phone. It was fantastic. Uh, only thing that sucked is when it got really cold outside, that phone really did not want to work. Um, there were several videos I lost due to um, issues with the uh, cold. Because uh, for whatever reason, the year, the year that I had it, um, one of the years I had it, it was uh, an abnormally cold, cold winter in Georgia where I live. So it was quite brutal. But it worked out in the end. Um, I got a surprise in 2018. I was on a trip with Hayden, who you guys know on the channel. And uh, my mom texted me. was like, hey, we're getting a new TV. And we're getting you an iPhone 10. I was like, wow, okay. Because uh, I was having issues with storage. My iPhone 6S Plus was a 16 gig phone. Uh, my iPhone 10 is the much bigger 256 gig phone um, because I needed the space to be able to hold all the videos I do. I mean, like I said, I work on two channels now. So it's like... A lot of content at once. Um, it, I'm infamous for going to an event, a car event in Atlanta, Georgia called Import Alliance uh, in 2018. I had to bring my laptop with me and keep in the passenger seat of my friend's car because I had to stop and transfer clips off it every so often because only, it was a 16 gig phone. So I mean, it ran out of space a lot when you're recording at 1080 So it wound up just really shooting me in the, in the foot. And that was kind of, I'm guessing my parents got the idea. They didn't want me logging my laptop everywhere to events to have to stop filming every so often and miss the action and go and import clips off of it. And so I wound up eventually uh, being really excited to get this phone. And ever since then, it's been my primary vlogging device. I've used it for every single video I've ever filmed that is not you know, a capture-related video or an action video, which is where this comes into play. I got this for Christmas in 20, I wanna say 2017, and it's been an absolute tank. It, re it can record in 4K. I don't really record in 4K with this thing. I've never done it. I don't even record a 4K on this camera, even though it's completely capable of it. Um, this camera has been primarily what I use for POV videos. Um, if you guys watch my car stuff, you guys know that this has been quite the bread runner. But the issue is, of course, is that the minor, the quality is not great. The video quality is fine. I mean, for 1080 60, I mean, it's really, really good. But the audio quality is abysmal on these things. And it's done the job fantastically. It's been, you know, a great addition to the channel. It's been, it's opened up a lot of doors for my channel and uh, for POV stuff. I've done two POV car reviews on that channel. Um, ironically, both of my parents' cars. But this camera has been a breadwinner for sure. And I'm really excited to have this thing. I mean, it's been a great camera. And even even when I do eventually do buy an actual GoPro, this thing will be, you know, still used for like exterior shots and stuff like that because it's just a great camera um, for the price. I mean, it's a $70 camera on Amazon. So, but that's where that comes in. But uh, let me show you guys the rest of my filming setup. So um, I apologize for how messy my room is right now. Um, like I said in the update video, when I first announced that I was coming back and hopefully for good, um, I, I would just finish a move. I mean, I literally just wrapped up a move. So, I mean, it's been a big process getting everything over here. So my room's a bit of a mess right now and I apologize for that because I'm still working on finalizing the move. I mean, I don't even have my TV up. I mean, if you guys can tell, I don't even have my TV up in here. Um, and I'm also not in my closet. Uh, you guys know that my office setup in my last house was in the closet and now I'm in the middle of my room. But anyway, on to the actual stuff. So of course we've got the Mac Pro sitting in all of its glory here running Mac OS. Um, this is the same one, if you, a lot of you guys know, that uh, was a part of the installing Windows 10 video that you guys seem to love on this channel. I think it's the most viewed video I've uploaded on this channel so far. I'm actually rendering out that, uh, that uh, update video that I just referenced a minute ago. Um, it's about the same. I also got this. Um, I didn't talk about this. Uh, this is my Corsair Void RGB headset. I've always wanted one of these. Um, and I had some money around, so I was like, screw it, I'm gonna buy one. And sure enough, I did just that. Um, I keep it hanging off this boom mic, which I don't really use. Um, even though this thing does have a designated microphone port, I just don't have the drivers or anything. To, I don't know where to find them to get this thing to work. So I use the headset primarily, and it does a fantastic job. I really don't need the boom mic too much, but I use it as I'm using it as a head as a headset rack, uh, which is why the little foam has a little crease in it. Crease in it, but. Oh, no, oh, oh, no. But anyway, the Mac Pro is still doing its thing. This is the main setup. This is what edits, this is what renders, this is what uploads. I mean, this does everything. Um, we come over, we come over here. This is probably the most jank piece of my setup. So this is my main tripod, which I've done, which I've used for sit downs. Every sit down video I've ever uploaded here on RT2 uses this guy. Um, and you guys can tell there's a piece of cardboard here. This is actually ripped from a box we used when we were moving. Um, because I, I always keep a piece of cardboard right here. And the reason for that is uh, the smartphone adapter on this is a little busted. As you guys can see, there's not a pad here to hold the phone. So if I just put it in there, it'll slide out and fall. And so I grabbed a piece of cardboard and stuck it in there. And I keep losing my pieces of cardboard that I tear off using that. 
Um, I, do, I just need to buy a new smartphone adapter. I've been lazy. Um, much like my actual case for that, that fake GoPro, that's also broken. And in this bag here, this was actually a gift. If you guys watched a recent video on my main channel where I helped a friend pick up a car, to repay me for helping him pick up a car, and he really went above and beyond on this. He not only bought my breakfast, but he bought, but he gave me a ton of camera equipment. So he gave me, he gave me this GorillaPod here, which is uh, by a company called Joby. This thing's heavy. I actually haven't held this yet. He even gave me the adapter piece to actually screw the GoPros into. Um, I would use this with my Faux Pro if the mic quality was better. Um, but this is primarily what will be my future vlog device whenever I do get a GoPro at some point. Uh, I plan on hopefully getting a Hero 7 Black for my birthday this year. Um, this is the Hero 7's, you know, kind of cheap now. He also gave me a couple of other gear, like pieces of gear. He gave me this underwater light, which is actually really cool. Um, I believe how it works is the GoPro screws on top here, and then this clips into this piece down here, which clips onto the tripod. This will be great for like going to nights, night events and stuff like that, or filming at night. Uh, and using this, obviously. It also has a bypass for microphones and stuff like that, which brings me to another piece he gave me, which I think is the last piece in here, which is a Rode microphone. A Rode microphone. Not just, you know, a rendered, a standard run-of-the-mill, like, Amazon fake. No, he gave me an actual Rode microphone, which is actually really cool. I'm honestly just really, really happy. Um, I honestly, you know, can't thank him enough for... Well, his name's Andrew, so I'll put his Instagram on screen for his car, his car Instagram, so you guys can go check that out and go follow him and all of his stuff. He gave me all this gear, which, you know, has to be at least 100 bucks, if not more. I know he said the mic alone was like 60 so, I mean, he gave me all of this, and uh, so once I do eventually get an actual GoPro, I'll have this as like a main vlogging setup, and we'll have a big upgrade from this little fella here, because this guy can't even run a mic, um, unfortunately, because it doesn't have the port, but... Yeah, that's kind of the equipment I've used to build a 1,000 subscriber YouTube channel from scratch, um, minus the 5C and the 6S, because I didn't, I don't have those anymore. Um, but anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed this kind of, well, originally it was going to be a quick video. Um, gameplay video should be starting up soon. I kind of wanted to knock this out, though, before I started doing more gameplay stuff. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of the cool stuff that I've got right now in terms of a setup. Um, it's kind of an interesting thing to know you built a subscribe or a thousands of sub channel with an iPhone and a fake GoPro. So all I said, hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.